and River Sea star striker Kai has the ball. It's the last minute of extra time and he's past one defender and he dribbles beautifully past the next and he's coming in for a shot and... Goal! Go, go, go! Hello you two. Hi Bobby. Hi Bobby. What's all this? Wow, a box of fruit and loads of decorations. How exciting. Where should we put it? Yeah, let me, Rudy. So, is someone having a surprise party? Oh, no, no. It's for tomorrow's special fruit promotion. Don't you know about it? No. This is the first I've heard about it. Dr Juno and I are turning one of your city buses into a fruit bus for the day. We're going to cover it with banners and stickers and all about healthy eating. Give out fresh pieces of fruit to all of the passengers. Wow, that sounds like a really great idea, Rudy. Hang on. The depot manager usually sends me memos about things like this. Oh, here it is. Dear Bobby, Dr Juno and Rudy will be coming in tonight to convert one of our city buses into a special fruit bus. Please give them any help that you can. Oh, I'm sorry, Rudy. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. We're just dropping off the fruit. Dr Juno will be along later to do all the hard work. That's us off, Bobby. OK, bye. Bye. <gasps> oh, I wonder how my little football is getting on at Granny Murray's. I love to Right, it's penalty shootout time. Oh no, it isn't. Oh yes, it is. Granny Money's diner. Now, who do you want to be? A bit of celery, or do you want to be a carrot man? Carrot man. Are we ready? Okay. Granny Murray goes for goal. She shoots. She. Oh no, it was saved by Mr. Carrot. Okay, it's your turn. Can you? Woohoo! <laughs> you got it. Oh no, we've lost the ball. What did we use? Would you like to use that, darling? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you'll score with that right enough. Woohoo! Yes, it works! He scores! <laughs> Whoa, look at this, Kai! <laughs> I knew your mum's socks would come in handy. <laughs> I'd love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle by the sea. I'd love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Are you cleaning all the buses? Hello, Dr. Juno. Hiya, Chalk. I wasn't expecting to see you. I've been called in for emergency bus decorating duty. I've had to cover a night shift at the hospital, so Chuck's going to be in charge of decorating the fruit bus. Hang on a sec. Right. Ah, yes, you're on bus number 72. That's the one that goes all over the city. Who's the bus driver going to be? Um. Oh, great, it's Jim. He's going to love driving this bus. He's really into keeping fit and healthy. I've written a little rhyme for him to say to the children as they board the bus. Hey diddle diddle, be fit as a fiddle. Oranges are juicy and cool. Apples and pears, help you run up the stairs. Eat bananas, jump high as the moon. Nice one, Doc. <laughs> I'm going to put it in my pocket to keep it safe. I'm glad you like it. I've got a break at 10 o'clock, so I'll pop back then to see how the decorating's going. I'm sure you do a fine job. You can rely on us, Doc. Have a good shift, Dr Juno. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Where's number 72 part, Bobby? I'd better get started. It's this one right here. <laughs> right. Well, I've got a lot to do before I'll be able to help Chuck. I'd better get on with my work.